the culprit for our stickers has made himself known. Ben Hutchison, lucky subscriber, lucky for me, and now lucky for all y'all, 777. He, uh, he sent these to me. Uh, thank you so much, Ben. Uh, shoot me an email, man. Give me your phone number. I'll talk to you. Anyway, um, so we got the stickers, and I put out the video last week saying send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Paul's Prime Cuts, and I'll send you a sticker. Well, as soon as the video went up, John Ware, much smarter guy than I am, he said, uh, yo, dummy, are those stickers going to fit in an envelope? They do. They fit in a, uh, I think they call it a number 10 sized envelope. You know, the big ones that you can fold up a sheet of paper three times from top and then the bottom that sticks in there. But it's, I, it's got to be tall enough from top to bottom to uh, fit that. But the little ones like you would send your girlfriend a note in in eighth grade, it won't fit in one of those because it's not tall enough. But the I guess they call it a legal size envelope or a number 10. I'll try to put the actual dimensions in the uh, comment section after I got the video, get the video up. I can't, I, I know what it is, but I can't remember now. So actually, I don't know, but I have it written down somewhere. Thank you, man. So everybody get them a false prior cut sticker. Send me a self address stomped envelope. And get that bad sticker. All right, stay tuned. We got plenty of action today. What's going on guys? It's Master Horticulturalist and YouTube superstar Paul Outlaw here. I got like 15 subscribers, you can't mess with me. It's just exciting for the people at home, I'm sure. Nobody watches this crap anyway. I can do this. I can do this. I've still got a lot more to learn. Everybody, please go subscribe to Paul's Prime Cuts on YouTube. He's getting up there on the subscriber count. Oh, man. Is it springtime back there? Nah, it's the end of October. These are encore azaleas. You'll get a, a really big uh, spring bloom and then this little, little flush of a fall bloom on them. They're showing up. There you go, azaleas. Some of those are only worth the crap once a year. Those are worth the crap once and a half times a year. Kerpow! Man, the seed's coming up finally. I didn't get a very good overseed on this place last year, and the uh, fescue was not super impressive. But this one has been in for about two, seeds been down for about two weeks now, and I'm getting some some much better covers than I did last year out of it. I, it just didn't come up very good last year. I don't know what the deal was. But uh, we'll walk around a little bit and show you some of that. And I fixed some sprinkler heads too. I got some problem areas right up by the house that never really did all that great. But I, I changed out some sprinkler heads and I, I think we're going to have success. Let's check some of this out. One of our little problem spots. Changed out some irrigation. Lots of new growth down in there. Two weeks. Not too bad, not too bad. Same thing here with this little area. This this was always a, a problem area, but I'm, I'm getting a lot of germination there. I didn't really get much germination there last year, but I've changed out to these kind of sprinkler heads right here. You used to have the little mushroom umbrella looking things that just, and they, they weren't doing very good. These were like spray, like little streams of water and agitate them back and forth. They're a little more expensive, but I think they work better. Windy out here. Yeah, uh, and I also cut off his cable TV when I did the aeration. So I gotta, let me see if I can see it. Temporary cable line there. But that was their cable and their internet, so they couldn't watch any Pulse Prime cuts on the YouTubes. Anyway, it's all coming up all right back here. So I think we're, I think we're gonna have a good, good success with this fescue this year. I've been kind of concentrating on different areas here each season, one at a time. I, I was kind of rushed last year getting the fescue in, and it just didn't do all that great. Let's see what we got going on back here. That's coming in real nice back here. 
All right, cross our fingers. I'm gonna put down a little more fertilizer on this too. Well, I was planning on it. This, this one's kind of a ways away from the house and I forgot to uh, pack me any fertilizer to bring. I think I got two bags on If I can get these areas up here around my house with that. All right, let's see what else I'm gonna do. And it's kind of windy out there, but uh, I'm gonna do a couple more, th a couple more things here. Um, I got some fire ants up uh, across the front by the street side and I'm going to spray those with some bifenthrin and a little surfactant in it. Um, I, usually if you're going to do something like that you need a probe like to stick down in the mound and flood the mound and get down there and get the queen. I, I don't have any of that fancy stuff. I'm not really in the insect killing business. Just a little bit I guess. Yeah. Anyway, but um, I'm going to hose down the mounds with the uh, by fenthrin and spray i'm pretty much going to spray that whole area up there with a with a light application of by but i'm gonna really flood those mounds down and, and hopefully that'll take care of our problem it generally does but if you got a persistent problem you need one of them probe dealies and get get her in there get her done all right i'm gonna try to show a little ant killing action you know shots it'd be carnage Check it out, fire ant mounds. I got the trusty flows on and my black Simple Force gloves on from Jeremy Watkins. Stay tuned for the video on the Simple Force. Flood these mounds out a little bit. This flow zone typhoon is fan freaking fantastic, by the way. I use it for everything. And I can go ahead and just kind of lightly treat this whole area up here so they don't really have anywhere that they're they like to run again if you're going to do this for real you need a probe to drop in the ground but I, i'm pretty confident that i'll get them with this we'll see all right if you guys have been following along on some of these videos these trees had some severe damage on them they're still not you know super spectacular but i've been I've been messing with them. I got some videos of some stuff I've done to them and I'm going to do a little something else to them today. And, and I think this is going to be the last hoorah on them, but I, I, they're going to survive. It looks like, and they, they are here lately starting to show some pretty good signs of recovering. I treated some of these shrubs along here last week for scale. And, uh, it just looks like a black powdery something on there. That's their, the bugs I guess I'm not really a bug expert. Ow, these have got stickers on them. Ow, ow. Uh, anyway, they look amazingly better this week. I, I was kind of surprised what I did work. Anyway, I'll spray out the rest of this ant stuff and I'm going to show you what I'm going to mix up to, to do one last hit on these trees. And I think we might be done here. Oh, yeah, by the way, my super gloves here. They will, uh, you can still work your phone with them on. There's gonna be a upcoming spectacular on these uh, Semper Force gloves, Semper Force dog. All right, stay tuned for the tree treatment. There's a lot of different ways to get you by filtering. Um, I don't think Lowe's has a, uh, a concentrated by filtering product, something like Bug Be Gone. The main ingredient is that in that is going to be probably by fenthrin, but it's going to be <coughs> at a very low rate. And in the Paul's Prime Cuts opinion, probably not good enough. Um, you go to Tractor Supply, get something called uh, Wisdom. We all need a little wisdom, don't we? But uh, relatively inexpensive. I think it's that stuff is a two ounce per gallon rate, something like that. But it's, it's by fenthrin um it works fine uh there's other products out there uh tall star is about the same thing as wisdom and uh you can get a well there is a uh restricted use uh high active ingredient by fentanyl that's kind of oily you'll see this uh other stuff is real milky when you buy it but there, there's lots of different ways to buy your by fentanyl but by fentanyl is what you need for your ants and uncle. Okay, this is gonna be the tree treatment. This is micro amp. 
We'll put about uh, four ounces of that in this four gallon sprayer and seaweed. We'll get uh, about four, six ounces of that too. We're going to add some surfactant and we're gonna, gonna shoot these trees one last time. All right, again with the flow zone. A little windy today. If this was something I was worried about getting on something else, I certainly would not spray it. And this is just the nutritive stuff. This thing sprays at a pretty high pressure. So it's getting all in there to the stems and everything. This is a little bit of what uh what I had going on at this place here today. The weather's nice. I think I'll get out and uh, mow one more before I go home. This to the football game on my XM radio app. See if the Panthers can can pull one out. Anyway, we got that thousand subscriber giveaway coming up. We're inching closer and closer. We've got the uh, Bobcat 72 inch mower T-shirt and a uh, Maharan hat. Uh, the uh, sweet gloves like I showed you and we're going to do the video on from uh, Jeremy Swatkins the Semper Force gloves and you can use your phone with them on too so that's pretty awesome and uh, thanks again to uh, Ben Hutchinson for giving us the uh, stickers we're going to try to get out remember you need the bigger envelope and a stamp because I'm cheap and uh, Chris Elms said he's working on the walker wear for us matter of fact let's check in with Chris and see where we're at on the walk Welcome to Appalachian Turf, bitches. We're getting it done. Go ahead. Well, that's great, man. What, uh, how you doing on the walker wear front? Let me tell you about my pies, Paul. I got them down here in this bag where nobody can see them. You see down in there, huh? That's good stuff. I got the apple pies. I got sweet potato pie. Hold on a minute. Stand by. Look at that. Huh. I can feel the butter through the plastic. Put hair on your chest. Damn it, boy. Alright, guys. That's going to do it for me today. I'm going to go mow one more. And uh, we'll check you out next time. And uh, we'll get to that thousand subscribers hopefully before uh, the end of the year or something. And uh, hook you up with these free goodies. I appreciate all you guys watching. Really, thanks.